हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर लर्निंग वीडियो दिस इज़ ए कंटिन्यूशन वीडियो ऑन आई सी एस यू थ्री ए गाइडलाइन सीरीज सो एज यू मे ऑलरेडी नो दैट द टाइटल ऑफ द आई सी एस यू थ्री ए गाइडलाइन इज इम्प्योरिटीज इन न्यू ड्रग सब्सटांसेज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्लॉसरी टर्म्स विच आर देयर इन द आई सी एच यू थ्री ए गाइडलाइन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले So there are around 22 glossary terms given in the ICHQ 3A guideline and today I will make you understand these 9 glossary terms and the remaining these 13 glossary terms you can read on your own as these are very simple and you can easily understand them So let us begin with the very first glossary term which is impurity So what is an impurity So friends impurity it means any chemical entity which is not the part of your drug substance will be called as a impurity let us try to understand with the help of this example so this is our azithromycin drug substance along with the azithromycin drug substance these azithromycin a azithromycin b azithromycin c these all are also found so these are the chemicals which are also found along with the azithromycin so these chemical entities they are called as impurities because they are not the part of your azithromycin but they are found along with the azithromycin so definition of your uh, impurity will be any chemical entity which is not the part of your drug substance will be called as a impurity now comes the next term which is identified impurity so what is an identified impurity so friends when the chemical structure of a impurity is known then it will be called as a identified impurity for example just see this impurity this is azithromycin a impurity and for this impurity this is the chemical structure so we know the structure of this chemical impurity so that's why i will call it as a identified impurity So now comes the next term which is unidentified impurity. So friends there are the impurity for which chemical structure is not known. So in that case we will call such impurities as unidentified impurities. Now comes the specified impurity. So what is a specified impurity? So friends any impurity if it is having a specific acceptance criteria will be called as specified impurity. a specified impurity can be identified or it can be unidentified so this is all about your specified impurity i will repeat it once again specified impurities are those for which there is a specific acceptance criteria now comes the unspecified impurity so what is an unspecified impurity so it is opposite to your specified impurity so as i said that in case of specified impurity we are having a specific acceptance criteria so unspecified impurity is opposite to specified impurity so unspecified impurity is that for which there is no specific acceptance criteria what they are having a general acceptance criterias so those type of impurities are called as unspecified impurities now comes the term impurity qualification what is an impurity qualification impurity qualification is a process of establishing biological safety of the impurity so friends as you may already know that whatever impurity is present in the drug substance or in the drug product that is not at all good for the human health so we need to establish the biological safety of every impurity present in the drug substance so that process of establishing biological safety of the impurity is called as impurity qualification so now comes the term impurity profile so what is an impurity profile so friends description of identified and unidentified impurities is called as impurity profile For example if i am asking you tell me the impurity profile of azithromycin then in that case you have to tell me all the identified impurities and unidentified impurities so that will be called as the impurity profile so i will repeat it once again definition of impurity profile so impurity profile is description of identified and unidentified impurities So now comes the term enantiomeric impurity. So friends what is an enantiomeric impurity? So an impurity which has a same molecular formula just like the drug substance 
what there is a difference in the spatial arrangements of the atom within the molecule and enantiomeric impurity have non superimposable mirror image so now comes the last glossary term of our today's video potential impurity so what is a potential impurity potential impurity is an impurity which theoretically can arise during the manufacturing or during the storage it may or it may not appear in the new drug substance so that is called as potential impurity so these were the nine glossary terms which every pharma professional must and should remember always so before winding up the video let us quickly recall all these glossary terms quickly the very first glossary term is impurity any chemical entity which is not the part of your drug substance will be called as impurity identified impurity when the chemical structure is known of the impurity it will be called as identified impurity unidentified impurity when the chemical structure of the impurity is not known it will be called as unidentified impurity specified impurity when a impurity is having a specific acceptance criteria it will be called as specified impurity unspecified impurity the impurity when it is not having a specific acceptance criteria it will be called as unspecified impurity impurity profile description of the identified and unidentified impurities is called as impurity profile impurity qualification process of assessing biological safety of the impurity is called as impurity qualification potential impurity theoretical impurities which may or which may not arise during your manufacturing or storage enantiomeric impurity impurity which is having a same molecular formula just like a drug substance but there is a difference in the spatial arrangement of the atoms within the molecule and enantiomeric impurity have non superimposable mirror image so friends this was all about the glossary terms which every pharma professional must and should remember always so i hope you have learned something new today bye bye and happy learning